All right. So I feel like we're all feeling the same kind of way right now. We're a little marveled out. We just had Loki season two's finale. Fantastic. I feel like it's one of the best thing Marvel has done in a really long time, if not ever. And then we had the Marvels. All I'm going to say is you're entitled to your opinion and I'm entitled to mine. We're not even going to get into that because I don't need all 20 of the Marvel's fans to come to my comment section and tell me that the movie wasn't bad because it's fun. Okay. I thought I was going to be done talking about Marvel for 2023. I was kind of looking forward to just getting the downtime until Echo comes out. But we got a trailer for What If Season 2, which is dropping in December. And then we got a trailer for Madam Web, which drops in February. So that means that it needed a trailer somewhat soon. I'm doing this first because I have no expectations for this whatsoever. I'm not looking forward to this. I really don't think it's going to be that good considering the Sony Spider-Man, Spider-Man connected movies track record. Honestly, I'm just sick and tired of these Sony Spider-Man crossover movies, crossover movies that promise you, you know, hey, we're getting the Spider-Man next movie. Oh, look, Tobey Maguire was on the wall in Morbius trailer, but not in the movie. We're going to throw the Oscorp building in the background, but that shot's not in the movie either. I'm just really sick and tired of that. And and I could just do without this whole Sony Spider-Man universe. I don't think Craven looks very good. I think it looks cheap. And if I get the same kind of feel off of this trailer from this movie, then I'm really not interested, but I'm willing to give it a chance. I'm not going to say it's bad without even looking at the trailer, more or less not seeing the movie. I know that's something people get so heated about nowadays is you see a trailer and you're like, oh, that doesn't look very good. Well, you're judging the movie and you haven't come out yet. Uh. Guys, calm down. That's that's what you do with the trailer. That's what trailers are supposed to, they're supposed to get you excited. And if they don't, then it's not a good trailer. And it's probably not a good movie if they couldn't make a good trailer. So anyway, I'm going to check this out. I'm sure it's not going to be very good, but hey, like I said, I'm not going to judge it before I see it. Before we get started, though, do me a favor. If you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, turning on post notifications, whatever you guys want to do to support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, I'm not very excited about this, but let's go. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Get your stuff. Let's go. Let's try that again. So she's Madam Web? A week ago, I spent my life racing against time. I'm gonna help you out today, okay? Trying to save okay. people who were running out of it. Gadget! Until one moment changed everything. Welcome back to the land of the living. I don't understand what's happening. I've been having me visions. neither. I knew he was gonna die. I think I'm seeing the future. Okay. New York City is a whole new level of crazy these days. So is that baby supposed to be Peter Parker? And is this Ezekiel Sims? New York City is a whole new level of crazy these days. This is an emergency. Get off the train. That man's trying to kill you. What? Who are you? What is going on? I can see the future. Oh, what the hell? She didn't see that coming? That's <laughs> not how it works. I've seen that man before. So who is he? Ezekiel Sims. He yeah. was in the Amazon with my mom when she was researching spiders right before she died. I recognize you. You live in my building. You're the paramedic. Yeah, you almost ran me over. You don't think this is weird? How we're all connected? It's honestly like the least weird thing that's happened all day. What do you want from me? You have no idea what those girls have come. Why don't you want from me? I think he can see into the future. Why you want from me? He's trying to change what happened. So they're all spider women. Is Sydney Sweeney supposed to be Julia Carpenter? Your future was almost so different. If you want to live, you have to trust me. Get ready. Now. Hey, you're showing off. Maybe a little. It, 
it looks like a fan film. It looks like a fan film. That's literally all I have to say right now. Hold on. I, I just, I want to see what was the budget on this? Okay. So Google says it has the same as the Morbius budget and Morbius was $80 million. This somehow looks worse than Morbius. Not story-wise. I think story-wise, potentially it could be okay. It just doesn't look good. It looks cheap. It doesn't have that like nice Marvel feel to it. It looks like something that uh, it looks like Spider-Man Lotus. I'm just kind of baffled that they keep making these movies and they're like, this is going to be a hit. They have Spider-Man at their disposal. I get they have Tom Holland in the MCU right now. They can't really do much with him on their own without pissing a lot of people off. And I really don't want them to because if their track record is any indication, if they were to get Tom Holland all to themselves, they would not really be doing very good. I feel like a lot of the story has come from either John Watts, you know, Kevin Feige's crew over at, at Marvel Studios. I just don't see a world where the same stories that are being written about Peter Parker in the MCU are written by the same capable people that are writing this stuff over at Sony. It just doesn't show. The scripts have been mediocre at best. This doesn't look very good. I'm willing to give it a shot. I know there's a lot of people out there that are like, it looks terrible. I'm willing to give it a shot, but I'm in the minority here. I mean, there's fewer and fewer people every day that are willing to give these kind of movies a chance just because they don't look very good by the trailers. The production budgets don't look very good. The stories aren't very appealing. This just didn't look good. And maybe a second trailer will change my mind. I'm trying to be as positive as I can right now, but... This doesn't look very good at all. I don't know. I could be misreading it, but just by judging on some of the reaction thumbnails that I have in front of me, it looks like people are feeling the same way that I am. So who knows? Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, turning on post notifications, whatever you guys want to do to support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy and I'll see you all in the next one.